I guess the biggest reason to support a White House counsel on men and boys is to alleviate pain. I know I, that all the members of the commission uh, were equally concerned when uh, the pendulum was such that women suffered a, a great deficit. But the pendulum has swung very far. And now, in every possible dimension, boys and men are really struggling. Uh, the suicide rate among boys and men is much higher. The overall death rate among men is much higher. We die 5.2 years younger than women. Our unemployment rate is higher. Uh, women are encouraged to organize. And when men try to organize, they're either ridiculed as a bunch of tom-tom beating uh, forest dwellers or a bunch of old sexists who uh, so that for example uh, men formerly men's organizations mainstream organizations like Rotary and Kiwanis were forced to become mixed gender but women's organizations uh, have been encouraged to flower and indeed the media has given them tremendous exposure Boys and, men's have issue, boys and men have issues too, in the schools, in the colleges, in the media, in employment, in health, in divorce laws. And the White House counsel uh, would, I believe, provide a measure of balance, while not in any way attempting to be anti-woman, just to ensure that fair examination of issues related to boys and men uh, uh, are considered. After all, uh, boys and men are 50% of the population. And the world is best when both genders are given full and equal opportunity. Those are my thoughts.